असलम टुडे आई एम मेकिंग कच्चे कीमे के पराठे इट्स कॉल्ड रॉ बीफ पराठे रॉ मीन्स पराठा एक्चुअली इट्स द स्पेशलिटी ऑफ पंजाबीज आई सॉ माई मॉम मेकिंग इट फॉर अस लाइक ऑल द टाइम यूजली बीफ इज नॉट सो फेवरेट मीट इन पंजाबीज स्पेशली इफ यू गो इन पंजाब रीजन इन पाकिस्तान दे प्रेफर मटन ओवर बीफ बिकॉज बीफ दे सेड इट्स नॉट गुड फॉर डाइजेशन एंड इट्स ऑल्सो द क्लास थिंग आई एम सेंग लॉट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल थिंग्स टूडे बट आई नो बिकॉज आई एम अ पंजाबी बट आई लाइक बीफ बिकॉज आई ब्रॉट अप इन कराची एंड आई यूज टू ईट लाइक बिकॉज माई फादर ही टू कस आउट अ लॉट Uh, he likes hotling it's not like very posh hotling very normal good uh, good and like good quality hygienic but middle class hotling so uh, we went to bans road a lot like bans road is my second home in karachi <laughs> so i like beef nihari beef biryani and what else yes uh, delhi gola kebab they had some special gola kebab which is like dying for and especially their naan and i i'm forgetting beef halim is a sin you know so yeah beef is i like the taste of beef especially beef biryani and nihari is one of my favorite things two of my favorite things like if you if you say sidra choose from beef nihari or beef biryani, beef nihari or beef biryani it's very hard for me i'll eat both so uh, usually people make Uh, means paratha from cooked mains but in our family i saw my mom doing same like she used to make uh, and i think nani uh, my grandma did the same she used to make raw mains parathas they usually uh, as i told earlier they usually prefer mutton so but i bring beef today it's it was beef steak which i asked them to wash first and then they put to twice in the mincer machine for me so it's fresh beef mince from osman and i bought some very good things today i'll show you afterwards so i'm and again because i brought up in karachi i like spices so much i like the use of garlic and ginger a lot more than usual people uh, like uh, a lot more than how usual people cook that or how uh usually people like them like if someone is using half inch uh, ginger or garlic so i am using 2 to 3 inch uh, ginger so it's a difference usually people uh, add up uh, onion in this oh, i forgot green onion i should have bought green onion but i forgot i saw that but then again i forgot when you are going to market you forgot all the time <sighs> anyways uh, it will be taste nice so i'm not putting onion because when you put onion and you add salt in it it start releasing the water which make the marinade a lot watery which i don't like and it, uh, it makes very hard for the person who is making paratha because then the mince start releasing water and the whole marinade become very watery i was thinking uh, yesterday i said like before youtube when you asked someone that uh, please can you give me this recipe i like this recipe a lot people were like hiding their recipes oh no it's nothing special but now <laughs> when the youtube comes and all uh, and also we all know that youtube uh, pays money to good channel people so then the people start sharing their ideas and their recipes for sake of fame and many of course so things are changing a lot these days you know like especially in this corona thing i felt very very tensed i want to go to pakistan but i couldn't go so here it is 1 kg minced beef i am right now grating garlic and ginger on it and i am not using onion today but i use one more thing i use shimla mirch uh capsicum because i thought i don't use something different so i'm just using capsicum i hope it doesn't release much water
I'm, I'm just doing one piece because I'm not sure about the water contents in this. When you are making live video, you can't stop doing and something if some if you're not liking something if you are making video like with editing you can do certain things like oh i'm not using this oh i'm not doing this so it's hard some people make uh, like cook this means very dry and then they add up potatoes too so it's all according to your family like how they like to eat it i keep the half sh this capsicum or shimla mirch for my mooli ka paratha i thought why don't i use this also in mooli ka paratha so it will be like taste different some more ginger actually ginger will help it to cook faster when i'm using uh, when i'm cooking parathas so it will be make a bit difference because i'm not using any onions so i have just ginger here and i don't like it uh, sour i like it spicy and saltish but not sour you can eat it with yogurt raita potato raita or green raita whatever you like It's our family favorite. Oh, all of our cousins and aunties, everyone loves kimi ka paratha. Sometimes, when we got extra person at home who can go out, we send them to tandoor. Tandoor is like where you get naan from outside. So they they took this minced meat marinade and flour dough, and they bring us back kimi wale naan. which is again a very very favorite delicacy for every punjabi they know they love kimi wale naan so this is turkish tomato paste i never add this before but i saw some videos about tomato paste in uh, how they make tomato so here i am adding some tomato paste i brought it from from osman my local my local grocery store I so many videos of Italian and Spanish chef how they make uh, tomato paste. So I was just curious. So I'm first time using it. There were two varieties available. It was for I think one point sixty nine pence, or this one was one point ninety nine pence. So I brought two. I said I thought to use it in different things. So just one spoon because again I don't want it very sour. And what else? Salt. This is mixed curry powder. And I didn't put zero, isn't it? Cumin seeds. So. Usually I like to cut it with scissor, but all the time my scissors are roaming in the home. When my daughter she loves to do the art and craft, and all my scissors, I never find a scissor when I want one, when I need one. So yes, it's me again. And I am I am adding kasuri methi. I need to make my hands a bit messier because. With spoon, I can't mix this all, and it will not gonna merge with each other. So here it comes. The 
द टेस्ट ऑफ दिस इज वेरी डिफरेंट दैन यूजल इफ यू आर ईटिंग यूजल मीन्स रोल और मीन्स कबाब द टेस्ट विल बी अमेजिंग एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पुट अनियन ट्राई टू स्क्वीज दैम वेल बिफोर एडिंग दैम और यू कैन पुट ग्रीन अनियन विच आई फॉट सो यू कैन मैरिनेट इट फॉर लाइक थ्री टू फोर आवर्स एंड इफ आफ्टर मेकिंग पराठाज द लेफ्ट ओवर मीन्स यू गॉट यू हैव सम लेफ्ट ओवर मीन्स डोंट टेस्ट अबाउट दैट बिकॉज यू कैन यूज दैट लेफ्ट ओवर मीन्स इन कबाब्स और इन सैंडविच फिलिंग्स आई समाइम्स आई मेक सैंडविच आउट ऑफ इट लाइक आई लाइक यू नो हाउ यू पुट जाम ऑन योर ब्रेड सो आई स्प्रेड दिस ऑन माई ब्रेड एंड आई पुट इट ऑन तवा ऑन फ्राई पैन एंड आई फ्लिप थ्री टू फोर टाइम विद अ लिटल बिट ऑफ बटर और ऑयल वट एवर आई हैड द टाइम सो दैट बिकम वेरी नाइस कीमा ब्रेड आई शो यू हाउ टू नाइट सो यस सी इज मिक्सिंग प्रॉपरली एंड आई एम नॉट यूजिंग एनी फ्लावर और एनी एग इन इट सो द स्टेक वॉज वेरी नाइस द ऑजमन हेयर दिस ओल्ड वेरी गुड क्वालिटी मीट आई लव दर मीट सो एंड आई थिंक टमाटो पेस्ट इट गॉट बिट ऑफ विनीगर इन इट इट ऑल्सो हेल्प इट टू मैरिनेट प्रॉपरली लाइक इट विल कुक फास्ट दैन द यूजल वेन यू आर आस्किंग द शॉपकीपर लाइक अ बुचर बिफोर दे कैन वॉश योर मीट बिफोर मिन्सिंग दैम देन यू डोंट नीड टू मिन्स आफ्टरवर्ड डोंट यू डोंट नीड टू वॉश आफ्टरवर्ड दैट मीन्स इट विल बी मोर इजियर फॉर यू बिकॉज इट्स यू डोंट नीड एनी वॉटर इन योर मीन्स अदरवाइज इट विल रू एन योर पराठास I am just adding one spoon salt because I also I will gonna add salt in my flour dough too, so I don't want it very saltish. Like you can taste the taste of meat too. So I am gonna marinate this for three hours now. so yes i start making rotis so usually i bought atta from tesco their usual chakki atta but this time my friend she praised this atta a lot it's called aashirwad and it's for i think 15 pound for 10 kg so i open it today and i'm making roti from this atta today see how it comes out thankfully uh the meat it's still raw and it didn't release any liquid so i'm feeling thankful that it didn't release any liquid in it first of all i need to make a small heart shaped roti for my little one then i'll gonna make that kima wala paratha I never realized how much my mom did uh, work. Well, uh, she was having a housemaid, like not full time, just uh, who comes for cleaning and nothing else. Even we ask her several times, "Mom, you can hire like yeah, we can afford you can hire a, ma a maid for washing because in nineties um, in Pakistan in nineties." During nineties, Pakistan uh, uh, mostly people doesn't had automatic machines, and uh, in our area, the water problem was started during those days. So we bought tankers for ourselves, like weekly around. I think now it that tanker started from five hundred rupees back then, and now I think it turned now. The one tanker cost around two thousand two thousand rupees. 
so yeah so my mom used to say no the maid will be gonna waste water and serve so i never realized she was always saying i'm tired of doing work uh, i'm tired of doing work and we were like okay mom why do, why, do, why can't you have a maid because he was studying and she want us to uh, to be like pay our whole attention to our towards our studies so we wasn't uh, my sister was a bit helping but i wasn't very helping i am ashamed to saying this but i was like this so <laughs> now i realize how much work uh if you are housewife like me you are doing a lot of work even for just for getting things ready at dinner time you are making rotis you are cutting salad and like salad and you are making raita and then you are serving everyone and then keeping an eye on everyone that oh is how they like the taste is the kids eating are they eating properly so i i wasn't aware of this thing before even if you have a dishwasher and all other machines still you are doing a lot of effort i got lot of machines <laughs> my first do my first dough maker was my mom gifted me in my wedding it was national food processor uh, which has so many things connected with it and uh, then i think i was new to kitchen so uh, i broke something in that machine afterwards i bought afterward i bought three times and that three times they uh, they worked till 2 to 3 years they did good work till 2 to 3 years time period and um, after that they lost their life <laughs> so the keema is really fresh uh, the means the means we call it keema in urdu means and i really wish i can serve you this so you can taste how good is it this is raw keema paratha so i seriously now appreciate double my mom like mom you did she is no more she left us like in 2014 some more you know me overdoing everything all the time but taste good so today i make all the flour dough before starting the video so it will not take lot i will not take lot of time to be making flour dough in the middle so this flour quality is really very nice i started it's not tearing down in the middle so and the consistency which you feel in your hand is like really nice like you have a nice good dough and the roti is coming out nice I'm I'm impressed with this quality of flow. So I think my dough bowls were heavy. Next time I will make the flour is so good you can feel the fragrance of wheat in it. Ooh. So I need to set it here now. So this one is the small roti which I make for my son. Yes, and here it is, the full view of Tawa. You know, in Turkish, Turkish people also uh, called fry pan Tawa. Uh, Turkish and Pakistani Urdu language, they got many many words together, which I realize after watching so many Turkish serials now. <laughs> so yes, here is one paratha ready. I need to make it a bit more brown from here. Then I start making the next two. Okay. 
you can see how good the color of flour is mostly when i make roti or paratha they didn't turn out like this Over, but then I thought, no, I'll do speak in this video. It needs to be speak during this mince video because no one will gonna believe that I'm making raw mince parathas. Actually, raw mince paratha. So, getting ready for the next mince paratha. Here it is. And it comes here. I am seriously impressed with this quality of flow. I wasn't expecting this to be too good. This good. You can put butter if you like it bit more special <laughs> favorite sound so here i'm adding just oil and i'm starting rolling pin on the next one This is quite unbalanced tawa, so the roti didn't cook sometimes at one corner and I'm just trying to place this properly all the time. I don't know why. See this is cooking from inside, that's how you can see the gas is coming in. I can, I can fragrance, I can have the fragrance of the mince now, it's cooking inside and you can feel the fragrance in it. See it's getting brown. Finally cooked. I show you in a minute. Mm. I'm 
hair glue is doing another one. Meanwhile, I show you the new one which I cooked right now. So, this I need to take the pizza cutter. Okay, so I cut it here because I need to move this camera here. It's quite a lot of hard. Camera here in there. So this <laughs> when I when my mom cooked it, so I was like, Mom, can I have one more? Can I have one more? And she was like, No, you'll get fatter. Don't don't overeat. So you can see here still mm. this is fully cooked see and you can see the evaporation it's still going on so if you make raw mince paratha a raw means roti it is not going to be like raw inside after cooking it will cook inside so don't worry about how it will gonna come out mm, yes. the whole it's like uh, you are having donor roti <laughs> you know the donor is such thin so it feels like you are having a donor roti What super spicy? The taste comes out very nice and I really really love it. So I'm making another additional video because I want to preserve it. It's like you know it's like your little treasury. Oh my god, this is my little secret. I love Roman parathas all my life. And these are more juicier, more good in taste because they are of beef. So yeah, they are good and juicier. See, the other one is fine off. Mm. To balance this camera is the, I think, hardest task of all. You are not feeling any more tension anywhere else other than balancing this camera. Balance, balance, balance. It comes out much very nice. When my paratha comes out very nice with, without any tears, I felt very good. Like, if my paratha does, doesn't come out nice, I felt very sad about it. of this floor is amazing. I'm so impressed. Even it was expensive but you know it justified the price. The quality is good. So here comes the roti. This is going to cook on tawa. Actually, I, I am recording this for sharing a tip that why I didn't add onion in the marinade. I didn't add an, an, uh, onions in the marinade because before I was used to adding onions in the marinade. And when I uh, put that in the fridge, uh, so after one night, the marinade start to smell very bad and acidic. So if I'm not putting onion, the mar marinade will be like, uh, it's okay to use it for two to three days time period. But if I'm not, uh, if I'm adding onion, then it's like, it start to getting more smelly after just one day. So that's why I stopped putting 
and we are in this but if you have spring onions green onions and you can add tails of green onions because they i think taste very nice so here it comes you can show your kids like this is your desi pizza see you can the fumes out coming out of it and it is fully cooked like the kids eat to you used to eat outside what i was saying because i don't donor because i don't eat much uh, i don't eat out much so i am not good with names so here it is kime wala balki kachche kime ka paratha and you can see the texture the texture is very good see three layers all together and three layers all are cooked before i shared this recipe on a women's food page so the ladies were very suspicious about the cooking of uh, keema inside the roti like the mince inside the roti they were like mince will not going to cooked inside the roti but i said no it will see it's not steaming up inside and i like the roti when it's i think it's because of flour too the flour is oh a very good quality and i think the flame was very heavy so you can see this is rising up here because i was talking to you with you and i didn't pay attention to this roti so do pay attention to your roti when you are cooking <laughs> don't be like me <laughs> so yes i hope you like this video and you're going to try this thing it is seriously very amazing if you want to try on sundays you will you will have a party food that's what i'm promising you it's quite a lot of party food so at this note i am saying bye bye have a very nice evening because it's almost evening here take care See you again soon. Bye bye, love is.